there has been a resurgence of creativity among local artists. This according to the curator at the Art Society of Trinidad and Tobago, Cadence Benjamin, who says this was reflected in the number of art pieces sent in to the annual members exhibition. The exhibition, which ran from November 27th to today, December 18th, ended with a toast to the artists and other stakeholders at the gallery in Federation Park. Terry Ann Brown Campbell spoke to some of the artists who said the COVID-19 lockdown left them with a lot of time to create. The artists whose pieces received the award for best in painting at this year's Art Society Members Exhibition, Rare Jones Woodham, said a return to painting full-time has been a release a reconnecting to herself and her friends. Ms. Jones Woodham is a former University of Trinidad and Tobago lecturer. I tell you, when the cancer came, it was time to really be free at last, you know, and I thank God for that. I, I really do because I am able to um, see the divine, the divinity in all living things. Ms. Jones Woodham said her award-winning pieces, A Pinch of Earth and A Spark of Divinity, took hundreds of hours as she was working in oil and trying to capture the beauty of the light in her friend's garden at Grand Cove. Her husband, Gabriel Woodham's piece, Mona Lisa, is also on display at the Art Society. I'm excited to do it. You know, any time I, I get up in the morning and I'll spend most of the day doing it, you know, and don't get tired um, and I think most artists probably work that way you know it's fun but it is hard work Mr. Woodham a former graphic artist and teacher said his current focus is on portraits he's working on a portrait of his daughter he urged corporate citizens to invest in art for the young artists who will need support he also called for investment in a huge museum to display our carnival pieces and our many other creative works. Another artist and former teacher whose work, Exuberance and Restraint, is also on display is Deborah Clements. She said there is creativity in all of us. Um, as Caribbean people, we are all very creative. We love color. We love um, celebration. And it's a pity that some of us have become so corporate that we've forgotten to, to be distinctive. Ms. Clements said art is not rigid, but an open, flowing thing. She added, it is in all of us, in what we do. She encouraged creativity for everyone and noted that it is visible in how we walk, talk, and dress. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, TTT News.